the cylinder bore finish affect friction and wear? We're here at Southwest Research Institute to find the answer. Okay, to get the answers to those questions, we brought in the ace, Dr. Tribology himself, <laughs> Dr. Peter Lee, who's the head of? Tribology here at Southwest, yep. All right, so this is the largest independent research institute yep. in the world, right? Pretty much in the world, yeah. Explain to everybody what we're gonna be doing to learn the answer of whether or not cylinder bore finish affects the friction and the wear of an engine. So how are we gonna do that? To get the answers to the questions, you need to get rid of all the extraneous information that you have coming out of an engine and all those extra things that are happening. Well, we're going to take the actual parts themselves, mm -hmm. so the, the rings and the liners, right. and we're going to machine those so they actually fit together in our test machines. Okay. And then we're going to rub them together, and we're going to measure the friction response, and at the end, we're going to measure the wear on some of our super fantastic 3D wear machines that we've got. It's going to be super fun. By the way, I've already seen a sneak peek, and it is actually mind-blowing. And then we can control the temperatures, the environment, everything that's happening in there, so that all we're actually going to be looking at is the friction, between the, the piston ring and, and the, the cylinder wall. Yep, yep, that's right. And just get just those answers and nothing else. So what we're doing is taking real parts of real engines and actually simulating the effect of the engine here in the lab. See, that's going to be so cool. And now, the best part is, not just are we measuring the friction and the wear, you have these really cool optical profilometers. Yes. Like, people that watch our videos know that we are talking about our little Minutoyo handheld <laughs> 2D profilometer. That's yeah, like that's, a Lego set compared to an S16, by the way. That's a joke in comparison <laughs> to what we're going to be looking at. What we're going to get is these 3D images of what's actually happening and what it looks like at the end of the test. And mm -hmm. we're going to be able to compare the worn surface and the unworn surface. Yeah, it's going to be... It's, we've already kind of seen some sneak peeks at it. It's pretty stinking cool. It is. Yeah. And so this is going to take a long time to get the results back. We're not going to have the results at the end of this video, by the way. Uh, don't leave the video. Subscribe, actually, so you can see the, <laughs> the results on a later video that comes out. Because it's going to be days oh, it's upon gonna testing. Be, but the, the list you've got back there... It's, it's going to be long. Yeah, getting longer and longer. Yeah, it's going to be quite a while. Yeah, the more ideas we have, the longer the list gets. But it's going to be really, really fun stuff to be able to see the friction, the wear, not just on the numbers, but also the visual representation visual, yeah. of what's actually happening yeah, on those, the line or in the, sil the ring itself. Those, those visual representations tell you so much more oh, yeah. than just numbers. Just being able to see the difference, be able to see the cross hatching that's in there and everything mm -hmm. else. It, you're going to be blown away. It's amazing. There's a lot of different ideas on how someone should hone a block. Yep, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And there's all kinds of different ring materials and coatings available. Yep, yeah, and it's all about the combination. Yeah, because we have three different surface finishes. Yes. We have three different ring materials. Yep. And we're going to have at least three different oil combinations. So That's a big matrix. That's a really big matrix, which is going to give us lots of information. So stay tuned because we're going to come back with another video once this is all done and give you guys the results.